Brand new 2018 Can-Am XDS. Just picked it up today. Got some parts to put on it. Did have a 2017 Razor 1000 Turbo. Um, didn't have it very long, had it a couple months. Plowed some snow with it. Let a buddy borrow it and it got totaled. So this is what I got in place of it. The reason I got this instead of another Polaris is I sat in one of these and sitting in them is the most comfortable thing I've ever been in. The seats are amazing. I can straight leg it. I'm six foot one, 250 pounds. I can sit straight legged in it. It's comfortable, great cockpit. cockpit. Um, the only thing is, I think it's gonna be hard to see in reverse and the nose is a little long, but it's, I think it's just gonna be something to get used to. When I sat in a Polaris Razor, I was real cramped. Um, I had no leg room. This I think I'm gonna enjoy a lot more, especially on long, long hauls, long trails, stuff like that. So we'll get a review once I get it in the woods and see how I like it, but we're gonna get some parts on here quick. Um, got some doors, back bumper, roof, windshield, uh, a couple other things. Got a radio yet to put in it that was off the Razor. Uh, four point harness seats to put in off the Razor yet. Um, I don't have those, they're at a buddy's house where where I wrecked or where my buddy wrecked it at. So here she is, new 2018 Can-Am. Well, we got her all done. There's my boxes, lower windshield, half windshield. I'll definitely put a full windshield on this winter. Lower doors, rock guards, roof. This, these roofs are awesome. Quick attach, just turn these, pops right off. You can have that roof off in two minutes. JBL radio, rear bumper. These rear bumpers were supposed to be red, but uh, they're, they look pretty orange, but the exhaust is smoking brand new. Just took it down the road first time, put a first mile on it. Got the uh, center console put in. You can put whatever in there. It has the auxiliary cord in the in there. You put your iPhone or iPad in there to run GPS. You got a couple pieces left from the Razor. Got a front bumper here I need to put on for sale. Got a 14 inch, I'd like to put that in the, it also turns red and it would be nice to have it as a reverse light when you're running down the road and then when you need it when you're plowing snow or something to see behind you to be able to switch it to regular. But there's just a 14 or 11 inch, really there's just nowhere to mount it. When you got that huge air box back there, I'm lucky I even found a place to mount that. I had to actually, to mount this radio, I mean, it's a $700 radio, so to actually mount this radio, I had to take the center brace out of the roll cage. Um, is it less safe? Yes, but up here they got a bar that runs all the way across. It also has a bar all the way in front. So you're just getting rid of your center protection but I would have had to buy a whole new radio in because there was nowhere to put this. I couldn't put it down below because of the air box. I couldn't split it. So I didn't want to put it up front. I would have had no vision, plus the, the cage would have been in the way. So there it is, 